What's up? Remember me? I'm back. Just thought I'd give an update on where I'm at with the 40. I haven't made a video in a while. Plus, I thought it'd be cool to get back into it again. So here we go. If you remember the last video I uploaded to YouTube, you know that this was just a cab sitting here and I had just cut the floor out of it. Since then, a lot has changed. Let me walk you through it. The next thing I did was build the frame out of two by six quarter inch wall box tube. I zed the frame in the front and the rear for suspension clearance as well as aesthetics and each joint was fish plated with quarter inch plate. Next I dropped in the motor which is a 12 valve Cummins with a P-pump bolted to an NV4500 five-speed trans. Next, I built a new floor and firewall out of 18 gauge sheet metal to allow for clearance for the new engine and transmission. Once I was satisfied with the floor, everything was sprayed with epoxy so that it wouldn't rust while I continued to work on other parts of the truck. Next, I built the front suspension. You can see it's a parallel four link with inch and a half DOM tube and a panhard bar. The truck's going to be rolling on full air ride. Up front is a 2600 pound bellow style airbag. Here you can see the front axle. It's a Dana 60 Kingpin, one ton with locking hubs. For the shocks, I went with Fox 2.0s that should allow for about 11 inches of travel. For the rear axle, I went with a Chevy 14 bolt, comes with 410 gears and a factory limited slip. Here you can see the same Fox shocks and a parallel four link similar to the front except I used two inch DOM tube for the rear four link. Here's the rear airbag mount and pan hard bar mount. All the mounts were made with quarter inch plate and I laminated them with eighth inch plate for strength. Here I modified the hood from the original butterfly style to make it a one piece hood that opens the hinged point on the firewall. The hinges are just some generics from eBay and the hood latch is from an F-150. Here's a hydro boost and the clutch master cylinder, just factory parts from a Dodge Ram. This is the steering setup. I used an early Bronco steering gear and Borgeson steering joints to connect to the steering column. I also took about six months off from working on this project to start something else. Let me show you what that was. Check it out. This is my new garage. So last year when I wasn't making videos, I built this garage. It's about 1,200 square feet. Uh, it's just basically another space for me to work. I haven't really done much out here since then other than a couple oil changes and some parties, but eventually I'll make some videos down here where I'm working on something. So that's what I've been up to. So where am I at with this thing? Basically everything I've done up to this point is just for mock-up. 
And once all the fabrication is 100% complete, then I'm gonna tear the entire thing down, rebuild the motor, both axles, and then start painting everything. And once the frame and all the suspension is painted, I'll start reassembling it. And then I can paint the cab and the outside and the truck will be done. That's basically gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to give an update on where I'm at with the truck. The next video I make, I'm gonna be doing some work on the interior, so keep an eye out for that. So I guess, thanks for watching.